Hello, individual. My name is Nathan, and you've come to the video where we pick sides and argue in the comments. <laughs> I'm kidding. Or am I? Either way, the launch of Windows 10 is imminent. It's launching in less than a month, and I've taken the burden upon myself to download the Insider Preview to get used to it so I can help people out when the actual launch date comes. One day, I sort of stumbled upon this feature that Windows 10 has built in called the Game Bar. This feature works similarly to the Xbox One's DVR, only it's through Windows 10. You hit the Windows key plus G at the same time, that's not, that's not the plus, it's the Windows key and G, at the same time, to bring it up. And then you decide whether you want it to capture the past X amount of time that you can set manually, or you can start a manual recording. When you finish, the recording will be saved in the captures folder of your video library. I decided to put the quality of this built-in capture tool against something more professional like NVIDIA Shadowplay. What you see on the screen is my attempt at a side-by-side -side comparison, so don't laugh too much at it. One thing to note is that Windows 10 records in 30fps by default, however I am unsure if you can change it through the advanced settings because to get to those you have to go through the Xbox app for Windows, which was not working for me at the time of this video. Both output in MP4 file format, and I'm assuming Windows uses the .h.264 codec, which is the most popular for .mp4. Uh, however, I do know for a fact that Shadowplay does use the uh, h.264 codec. Another note, uh, I'm recording on Windows with whatever default settings there are for this DVR and I'm recording with medium quality preset on Shadowplay, because anything above that with Shadowplay is not noticeable on YouTube. When you record with Windows, expect to see a 283.32 file size reduction from Shadowplay. I'm not pulling this number out of my ass. I recorded with both running at the same time, and a 10 minute video on Shadowplay was around 1.4 gigabytes. And the Windows counterpart? Guess was an ultra lightweight of 506 megabytes. Yeah. Now take all this with a grain of salt because keep in mind these are my settings and it's ultimately up to you whether or not you like the quality of the Windows 10 DVR. Personally, I'm gonna stick with Shadowplay because that's my preference. But Windows 10 DVR definitely beats out a lot of other programs when it comes to low budget video recording on a low to medium end rig. I noticed no frame drop when using the Windows recording separately, and only noticed slight dips when using both at the same time. So Windows is definitely well optimized. I'm 100% positive I missed some stuff, but oh well. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and take all this with a grain of salt, because it's all subject to change between now and the release of Windows 10. Uh, that's been all for today, and remember, stay golden guys.
Thank <laughs> you. 